Jock was born with severe cerebral palsy. Um, we weren't expecting it. Um, it was a shock to us. Um, when he was born, he, he couldn't suck. He had no suck reflex. Um, he didn't move like a normal baby. Yana was diagnosed with a condition called polymicrogyria. Typical symptoms is the development of the child, speech, walking, everything is slow. And in fact, they told us that the life expectancy is like two to three years and Kiana will turn seven in September. My little girl has Rett syndrome and she was diagnosed about a year and a half ago. It causes and creates developmental delays and it also creates problems with um, their body function, and their hand skills, their motor skills, their fine motor skills and their gross motor skills. Iris House is a children's hospice for children with special needs who are life limited or life threatened. Currently we don't have a building so all of our care is done in the community. Basically what our team does is they go out to our families and we provide up to four hours worth of quality care in the child's home. But that's not where it ends. We also get involved with our families on a much more personal level. We become their support structure and we become an extension of the family. It's very important to have people that got empathy and that not always giving you advice and tell you how to handle things and how to focus with a disabled child. but just around you with love and support and show you that they're there, you know, whenever you need them, whether it's a call or a mail or a visitation, you know you can lean on them. When we were approached by Iris House, it was like heaven sent. First of all, they offered um, sits for us twice a month. Um, the first time I, I went out for dinner with my husband for the first time, basically since we'd had Jock. Um, in three and a half years. All our care team members are trained by myself. They go out, they do therapy with the children, they do physio with the children, we do play therapy. We basically do what that family needs us to do. I never ever thought that I would have a syndrome child. I was never really around children with syndromes. In fact, we never thought it would happen to us or our family. It changed everything. It changed your life from the first day. But it's not always bad. This is Jock's little smile. It was very subtle. Um, and you have to know him to know that this is his smile with his little tongue forward and that little twinkle in his eyes. That was about the only response that we got from him. And I just love being with the kids, doing some good things. Doing, I think I found my purpose now. So there's nothing I can do about their diseases because I'm not a doctor, but I can help making each and every day for them special as long as they're here on earth. Any support from an individual, a company, any organization will be such well appreciated. These kids ask a lot, but not everybody with these special kids have that facility. I know a lot of families that can't even afford a wheelchair, for instance. So any one of you outside, that know you've got a purpose to do something for anybody out there. This is the place where you can put your money. We struggle a lot you know, with support, so obviously Iris House is wonderful because of that. And Iris House cannot do it without the support from the community in order to make things better for our children. I would like all people out there. If I can attract the more the merrier people, I can attract to help Iris House. Of course, now I've seen that Iris House do a lot for these kids. Yeah, I know that um, Sue and Iris House are working very, very hard to um, fundraise um, their organisation, um, as well as do the caring work, and um, it's very, very hard. And we've also found from our experience that there isn't much government support um, out there for um, the people with special needs children. And if they could jump in on board and help Sue's organisation, it would make a huge difference. If anybody's watching this video and they would like to get involved in Iris House, there's numerous ways they can do so. We're always looking for volunteers. All we ask is that that person has their own transport and that they have a passion for children and they're ready to learn about special needs. We obviously, our services are 100% free to all of our families and always will be. So any financial donations are very, very grateful to see. We always need toys. 
We always need nappies and we always need food for our families as well. So any contribution that a member of the public can make or if they'd like to join us, if they'd like to know more about us, they're very welcome to get hold of us. Go onto our website or to phone our office and we'd love to chat to them and tell them more about what we do.